Good morning. I'm Abla Maudeku, with, um, who manages the Situational Awareness Section, which is within the Public Health Agency of Canada and under the Health Portfolio Operations Centre. Wow, quite a mouthful, but I'll explain what we do. Um, I, today I'm going to talk about the Global Public Health Intelligence Network, GFIN, how it is used within the agency on a daily basis, and what are the next steps for GFIN, which has been in existence since um, 1997 with a prototype and 2004 as a production system. The mission of GFIN is to provide early warning and situational awareness about public health threats. Users of the system include the WHO, um, FAO, ECDC, uh, ministries of health, and private sector insurance companies. GFIN consists of a monitoring tool um, to manage the flow of information. It includes processes such as duplication, removal, relevancy. We have a team of analysts, 17 in total, who are multilingual and, and um, multidisciplinary. We gather information in nine languages, as you can see here, and we, the system is able to translate non-English to English and vice versa. Through the system, we're able to then gather relevant information and then also with metadata categorization into these um, different categories. We have an all hazards approach, so our scope is broad in public health. We use a risk assessment tool, which is adopted from the IHR um, Annex 2 decision tree. And so we use this to determine what are alerts and what is other types, what are other um, threats. This is a presentation of information, relevant information in the GFIN um, application. Um, this is just one way of presenting it. Users can actually customize their um, folders. This is also a list of alerts that have been alerted over time. Um, while it's alerted in the system, users of the system also receive an email with the alert so that they can quickly um, decide what action needs to be taken. We also produce FYIs. In this example, you can see it's information about smallpox in Somalia. We're alerting users that this could be an error in translation, not from GFIN, but translation from the reporter who may have mistranslated an Arabic um, article in English. We also provide mass gather, um, reports on mass gathering events, um, looking at participating countries, seeing what, is, what are outbreaks in that um, area. We also provide um, support during um, pandemic H1N1, for example. This is where GFIN is situated, along with Watch Office and IHR National Focal Point Office. And it's strategically situated because of strengthening the network for exchange of information. So we as you'll see in shortly, we don't only um, look at event-based information, but we now also look at indicator-based information. And this is the model that's used within the agency to garnish public health intelligence and determine what are the risks um, or public health events that are risks to Canadians, as you can see here. So I've... I've demonstrated the risk assessment tool that GFIN uses, but collectively in the situational awareness section and with the program areas within the agency, we all use this risk assessment tool that focuses on risk, um, has more criteria for looking at risk for Canadians. On a daily basis, this is what goes on in the agency. We have risk assessment done by the program areas, information coming from our provinces and territories, from SAS, which is situational awareness, event-based information, Collaboratively, we conduct risk assessment and present on a daily basis um, events that are concerned to Canada for decision makers to decide what are the next steps. Good example of this is, is a fusion report that we produced during H1N1 where we worked collaboratively with the program areas, gathered information from open sources information and presented a consolidated report to all decision makers. This is a good example of how um, we work together. Program areas received a call about travelers arriving in one province, but then we picked up from media other travelers arriving in other parts of Canada um, from the same location. And um, there, we have endless um, 
examples of how the combination of media and even social media, so the agency also uses Twitter sometimes, and, and sometimes we go to use blogs to try and, and determine again or validate some of the reports that we see from the media and to try and help determine and understand really the scope of an event that's emerging. Um, sorry, I bought into the time. But the next steps is really looking at how to integrate social media.